Hey and welcome to another video. Today we will try to create this text effect inside Microsoft Word with those long flat extrusions. The effect comes from my free ebook 7 best text effects in Microsoft Word. I will put the link in the description. As you can see it only takes two pages inside the book so it should be fairly easy to create. So this is what we want to create. Let's start with a blank document. Here we will start with changing the color of the background of the, of the paper. So we'll jump to ribbon design and open the page color drop down menu. And you can see I already have this color predefined. This is not a standard color, but I did this color by choosing one of those standard colors. I believe it was this one, maybe this one, and made it a little bit lighter by dragging this slider up until I was satisfied with the result, something like this. We had to start with the page color because we will insert a new text being white so it wouldn't be visible anyway. Let's insert the text box. So select insert shapes text box and draw a fairly big text box. Inside I will type in color and I will change the font to be Arial Black and size to maybe I don't know 130 or so. I will make the text box a little bit bigger and change the outline fill to be no fill and outline to be no outline. We'll position it around the center of the screen and change the font color to be white. The next step would be adding the free effect. So I'll we'll right click the text box and the format shape and I will locate text options, text effects and I will open the free rotation and from the preset I will select this oblique. I don't know what it's called but it's uh, not visible in the video but uh, the preset is called bottom left. We don't see anything yet because we have to inside a 3D format drop down we have to set the depth to maybe 100 points and now you can see we have those extrusions. We want those to be flat and a little bit bigger so I will maybe increase this size to be 300 and I will change the lighting to be flat. It's one of those presets also By default, the color of the extrusion of the depth is taken from the text color, but we can change it by simply selecting a letter and change the depth color to be something different. And I will open more colors even when I already have those colors selected. I was basically trying to select colors around the center, around here. So I will continue with changing the colors, and as long uh, you know, as you can see. When I select the color, it immediately jumps to the normal view, so we can see that the extrusion is being colored. So I will do this for every letter. And the last one. And what I can do now is probably duplicate this text box one more time, so we have two lines of text. I will move it down like this. I will maybe use arrow keys on my keyboard so I have a precision, precise control over the movement. And I here I will type in uh, tails. And if I do it like this, that I will just uh, replace individual letters. I should be able to get the uh, color information which was there previously. So all I need to do now is just to arrange those letters around to get the right word. Okay, here we go. I must still change the color of those letters because those are the same as the top ones. Seems like I haven't saved too much time by doing this this way. Okay, and I think that we can call this effect complete. If I quickly jump to my previous creation, you can see there are some uh, additional details in there. And those are really just adding few more lines. Maybe we can try to do it here as well. So I will draw a few lines, I will insert shapes line. And then when I draw the line, I will hold the shift key so it snaps to 45 degree angles. I will do it, draw it like this, change the line to be white color, 
width to maybe three points and I will make sure that the cap type is set to round so we have this rounded edges uh, rounded corners or endings then I will just uh, randomly copy paste it over the text again I'm using the arrow keys and I will probably zoom in a little bit and I, I may position those over the edges I don't need to make it precise just randomly place it then I can resize this line to make it even bigger and position it randomly around the page and maybe I can few add more lines maybe make some of those lines smaller so they don't overlap the bevel or sorry the depth uh, extrusion and maybe I can add a few more lines in a different color we may use the same color as for the extrusion so in this case I will change the color to be blue and I may also change the style to be maybe dashed line so it looks a little bit different you can do whatever you want okay so one more and we will end this tutorial Yep, I'm pretty happy with the result. So here is the very simple 3D looking effect inside Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching.